Hey guys, well, time to do another review of something else in my collection. Today I want to talk about my, uh, and show you guys my Evil Dead collection. Now, funny enough, I've always seen the third one. <laughs> There's actually a funny story to talk about that. So, uh, first I'll go through what movies I have, and show you what editions, then I'll go through the, the backstory about what happened. So, to start off with, I do have the original Evil Dead. So I picked up the, the DVD edition, I think I got this at, uh... I want to say Game Craze or something a while back. And uh, really cool, it's the THX Certified Edition. Uh, loaded with special features. Very cool, just a standard DVD edition. And then I also, recently this year, I wanted to pick up the Evil Dead Book of the Dead editions. They're very expensive, very hard to find. Well, they're, I shouldn't say they're really hard to find, but they're really hard to obtain cheaply. <laughs> um, both of these are not in the greatest shape. Uh, sadly, the eye that's supposed to scream on this one no longer works. Uh, it's a little... See how it's tearing? That's the thing is these sets are very, very sensitive. Uh, this is actually... It's in plastic. So same with this one. I want to keep it in plastic because um, the binding... On this side, you can kind of see it's starting to tear. Uh, there's, this one's actually in better condition than the second. This one's actually in pretty good shape, but... Um, from understand, both of these movies, uh, basically the only reason you want to get these movies is for the collectible of the having the Evil Dead book part. But as for the special features and the um, quality of the films themselves, these should be avoided for that. <laughs> because everything you can get on these, I believe, are all on the Blu-ray. And from what I understand, the transfers on both of these are really, really hit, uh, like hideous for DVD quality anyway. But I want to get them for collecting purposes because they do look cool on the shelf. And that's most, mostly the main reason to pick them up. And then, I also picked up the Blu-ray sets. Now, I'm not sure if this is the one to avoid. I honestly can't remember. I remember somebody was telling me that one of the Evil Dead Blu-rays is in really, really rough condition. It's just basically a uh, old DVD master that was upconverted for Blu-ray. But um, I'm not sure if that's one of these or not. Unless I got both the right... Um, uh, unless I got the right editions, I don't know. Uh, you guys can comment down below, let me know if there's a better edition. Uh, now of course, I know there is a... I forgot what it's called, but it's like a three disc ultimate edition Blu-ray set of the first Evil Dead, which I want to pick up eventually. Uh, I just haven't had a chance to find it yet. I know, I think there might have been one FYE, I just didn't bother to grab it, because it's a little expensive. But, um, but yeah, so I got this Blu-ray. And this one, I think I paid like $5 a piece for them at Best Buy, so very cool. Had to pick them up. And of course, I also had the first Evil Dead on PSP UMD. I paid $2.69 for it. So, pretty cool. Um, I'm not even sure if this is supposed to even be in here. No, this is a game manual for an actual game, but there's the Evil Dead. <laughs> See, most of the time, the, I don't know why this is even, I'm just going to throw that out, because it's a torn manual, and it looks like it's for a um, racing game that I don't have, so there's no point in even keeping that, so, but Evil Dead, Evil Dead, so. Now, I have not got a chance to actually watch the Evil Dead movies. I also picked up, uh, th this was the first one I picked up, I didn't realize Army of Darkness was an Evil Dead movie. <laughs> I didn't realize it was the third one, because at the time I, I heard about the Evil Dead movies, I just never saw them. And I saw this at Best Buy, I think two or three years ago, I picked it up and I watched it, I really liked it. It was like a good comedy horror movie. It felt like a comedy horror movie. Um, but uh, anyway, I didn't realize this was the third one. Uh, so, um, eventually I'll go sit down and do a marathon. Whether or not this will be this year, it's getting down the wire right now, so I don't really know. Um... So I don't, I'm not entirely sure if I have time or not to actually do that. But still, um, I enjoyed it. I loved it. So knowing that I loved the third one, I definitely, I, I think the first, the first one I think I heard is definitely the best, or at least definitely the first two are the best. Some people have mixed feelings about the third, but if I really enjoyed the third, I have a feeling I'm really good, really, really going to enjoy the first two. So, but yeah, guys. So that's the Evil Dead collection I have so far. Pretty cool. I think there are a few other editions out there, of course. Um, and I still have to pick up the remake. I don't have the remake yet. Um, I heard that one had mixed feelings, too. Um, just people didn't think that was just, eh. 
But anyway, um, I'll pick it up sometime and I'll do a marathon. So maybe I might do that. I think I'll wait. I'll hold off this year. I'm just glad I have them in the collection. And then next year I'll track down the remake and I'll do a marathon of all four movies and let you guys, I'll do a review next year about that. So, well guys, that's it for uh, the Evil Dead collection. Thank you for watching and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. So, see ya.